Okay. So what we, we do for any client is we'll, we'll have a first meeting and the client will say, you know, these are our personas. We like to focus on like these are yep. USPs, et cetera. And then we say, okay, that's great. But like, let us actually collect some data and sort of confirm your biases or sort of say we should be testing these new personas. Okay. So what we do is we collect, we, we pick three to five brands uh, within the vicinity of your brand competitors. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll collect all their, their reviews um, okay. from you know, Trustpilot, the website. We use a tool called GigaBrain. Uh, okay. You can search your brand on GigaBrain and that will allow you to pull all the subreddits that mention your brand or your competitors' brands. Or for worse. Or for worse. <laughs> we recently started working with a company called Brandwise. And okay. with Brandwise, you can download a CSV of Facebook comments. So you okay. have all this plethora of data for your brands and your competitors' brands. So okay. then what we'll do is we'll create a custom GPT for all of our clients and input all of this data. And through a series of prompting, and we just have, have like an automatic prompting system, we can determine like what your key motivators are, what your key values are, and what your key pain points are. And then okay. also, you know, what your what your customers' frustrations are, their irritations, and sort of their points of no return. And that's always great for our strategists to say, these are the components we should be focusing on the ad. But what the most important component of this is, is, you know, are the AI personas themselves. So we have sort of two batches. We have the evergreen personas. So these are the folks that are buying from your brand again and again. So, you know, for example, you could, you know, going back to coffee, these could be, you know, the, you know, the caffeine addict would be a persona, yeah. right? And like, that would be the angle to test. So we will generate four verticalized evergreen personas. And then we'll also generate four sort of what we call like diamond in the rough personas. So okay. what does that mean? They have used your product in a use case that you ne haven't necessarily advertised towards. You know, for example, we work with a, uh, a company that sells meal kits and yeah. you can bo boil the water five minutes, the meal is ready. And generally we're speaking to folks that are have no time between meetings, but there's yeah. a specific use case about camping. And they're like, oh, you know, I brought this out camping and like it made yeah. my life so much easier. This is yeah. like sort of, again, like a diamond in the rough. Only one person mentioned it. You're like, so maybe we should be testing top of funnel ads for this sort of persona.